Hello and welcome to Medical Dialogues. I'm Dr. Bhumika Makuri. Here's what I bring to you all from the world of medicine. Stem cell therapy trial offers new hope for Parkinson's patients. A recently launched phase 1 clinical trial at Mass General Brigham is examining the safety and feasibility of a groundbreaking treatment approach for Parkinson's disease in which a patient's stem cells are reprogrammed to replace dopamine cells in the brain damaged by the disease. A total of 6 participants will be included in the phase 1 trial that will track the patients for 12 months and beyond to determine the safety of the procedure and monitor for any improvements in Parkinson's disease. This novel therapeutic approach for treating Parkinson's disease incorporates the the use of stem cells derived from a patient's own blood that had been converted into induced pluripotent stem cells IPSCS these cells are then reprogrammed to turn into specific midbrain dopaminergic neurons ready for transplantation the autologous transplantation approach of using a person's own cells circumvents the requirement for immunosuppressive treatments which are necessary when cells from other donors are used cell replacement for parkinson's disease replaces the dopamine neurons lost to degeneration and can restore dopaminergic function in the brain providing a completely new treatment modality compared to the currently available treatments seeing this transformational new patient cell based replacement of their own dopamine neurons come to vision from the very basic science breakthroughs in our lab to be completely translated into a clinical application for patients suffering from parkinson's disease is very gratifying said nri's founding director ole isaacson dr made sci who is also a professor of neurology neuroscience at hanward medical school and mass general brigham we believe this approach may open up a new treatment paradigm and lead to the development of many additional cell therapies to restore damaged brain systems and replace degenerated brain cells in other diseases that's all for today. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for latest update. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.